What's up guys, Smarter here for Shadows of Evil. Welcome to the Armory. This is where we're going to talk about all things weaponry, equipment, the things that help you in the fight against the evil undead. We're taking a look at the zombie shield this time around. We're going to show you exactly where all three parts are. We've got, uh, I guess, the main frame, the eagle component of the shield. is always found in the canal district. All the parts are found up by where the perks can be found so i'm just sh showing you the areas where you can look around so that uh, component can be in any number of locations in the general vicinity basically these two rooms one where the perk is and then this room where we actually found it okay so we're gonna go over to the footlights i guess you can call this part the upper frame it's got the little uh the little window in it uh the eagle part is the lower frame of the shield and then we have this upper part so we're getting, we're out here looking by the perk area. It could be here by Jug or it could be in the next room. Uh, remember, the perks do change positions. And there we go. There's the upper frame right there. It's got the uh, big light on it. Yeah, you got to light it up when you're, uh, when you're smashing zombies with a zombie shield, right? So final part is in Waterfront. This is probably the most difficult because it's the smallest and darkest component. And it's located kind of in the most cluttered and darkest area of the map. So here we are where the perk location is. We're going to find the tanks right over there. Um, I think they sometimes glitch into the wall too. So you gotta you got to really look. Uh, especially if it's in the next room where the statue is. Where you break the box and the statue is. Uh, yeah, it can get kind of dark in a couple of positions here. You just got to be on the lookout for it. So those are your three components. Well, where do we build it? Well, there are three workbenches. We're going to go over here and just take a look in the canal first. Just try to identify all three workbench locations, uh, and I would build the zombie shield closer to where uh, somebody is going to be running. Like, if you're running solo and you're running canal, build it here in canal. If you're uh, running in footlights, build it in footlight. If you're running over at waterfront, we're going to show you waterfront, then wa you know, build it in waterfront so you can you know, get it anytime you need it. If it gets destroyed, the zombies hit it, boom, it's gone. You can just go and pick another one up quite easily. This is probably the most, uh, the worst spot to do it, actually. I would uh, think over here in the footlight. Just because if you have to come up here to get it, it's not the safest route because you can get zombies coming in from in front of you. You only have two directions to go, right? And then the finally in waterfront, probably the best place to put it, in my opinion. I mean, I like water, uh, running the waterfront. Um, I mean, you can run Rift. Rift is uh, pretty good as well. But we're going to go over here, and we're actually going to construct it in the waterfront. The third of three workbenches that you can build stuff on. And there are only two buildables, so you got two buildables and three workbenches. And you don't have to worry about Brutus coming in and locking down the workbenches, right? Alright, so we're going to build this. Remember, this does go towards your challenge. There is a challenge for completing X number of um, assemblies at the workbenches. Alright, part assemblies. And there is your zombie shield. Done. So it's on the back, obviously. You can see it's got a, a charge on it, right? And the tanks actually provide for this rocket blast portion of this uh, zombie shield. We're going to see it in a minute here. I'm just, you know, testing it out. But we ba we have three charges. So, so let's take a look at its melee capability here first. I mean, I know we're on round seven. And uh, it is a one-hit kill. And you can kill approximately 15 zombies with one zombie shield before it breaks. Okay, we're actually gonna, I, I count it, I count I mean, you can count if you want. I haven't hit any zombies previously this, to this. Uh, I've kind of used it, but I really haven't hit anything. And you can see the, the glass or the, I don't know, reinforced glass is starting to break already. So uh, we're gonna lose it very, very soon. And it eventually does become a two hit, three hit, you know, as you go up in, in the rounds, etc. Yeah, it's gonna take that many more hits to kill zombies as you go so i mean it's generally better just to have it on your back because uh it protects your back as you run around and it's very useful from that aspect okay so we're going to try out the rocket portion of this now watch this we're actually going to get our strike trophy here now you can get into trouble man i'm telling you if you have a full group of zombies and you try that uh you're likely to get down what i would suggest you do is use two charges, two of those rocket blast charges at a time, uh, especially if you have a larger group of zombies. So there's one, and there's two. I mean, you can see as we go through the first one, we're getting hit. Um, so it's definitely better, a better strategy to use two blasts uh, to keep yourself out of trouble. And finally, 
Well, how do you recharge that rocket blast? Because we're, we're back up to three. Well, if you get a max ammo, it, it refills your rocket blast. Also, you can find these tanks around the map. Now, not only are they located in a couple of different locations, this is one that we just happened to find over in Footlight. There are a couple of different locations where you can find these tanks. You can also find them by harvesting pods. Uh, more than likely in the purple ones, but uh, you can find the tanks. But they only give you one refill. But like I said, I think the best use of the zombie shield is to always have one. Just have it on your back so you're running around training zombies. And uh, you get hit, they're going to hit, you know, if you get hit from behind, they're going to hit the zombie shield instead of you. So it offers a high level of protection for you while you're training. That's it, guys. The Zombie Shield. Uh, this is Armory Episode 1. Uh, like I said, we're going to be taking a look, a close look at pretty much everything. You know, weapons, the Zombie Shield. We got the Civil Protector. We got the, the uh, Apothecon weapon, the Wonder Weapon, and we have Gumballs even, right? We're going to be taking a look at all that stuff. So stay tuned for more, guys. Spider out.